The salad bowl is one of my all-time favorite vocabulary games um, that I play with my students. You can play it for any subject um, with any vocabulary words. The first time I played this game was at one of my friend Beth Hubbard's um, Christmas party, and I thought it was so fun, and I also thought it would adapt really well into the classroom. So ever since then, I've used it over and over and over, so I'm going to give credit to Beth Hubbard for teaching me this game. Round one, you describe the word. Um, so if the word was cat, you would say it's a um, feline, uh, people have them as pets, they say meow, um, and then as soon as you get that word right, you go to the next one. In terms of teams and the amount of time you give the kids, a lot of times I play boys versus girls just because they seem to really like playing versus the opposite gender. And um, I usually give them about one minute to one and a half minutes per round. Sometimes if I have a lot of words in there, I'll give them two minutes. But usually a minute and a half is about right for, um, for each time they play. They might not get through all of the words for that round. So if they get through the minute and a half or whatever amount of time I give them and they're not finished, what I'll do is I'll stop the clock. I'll let it go to the boys. They'll still have the remaining clues inside of the, um, the bin or basket and then it'll go to the boys' turn, and then it'll go back to the girls until all of the clues are done that are in the bucket. You have to finish all of the clues before you go to the next round because you want to go through all of the words for every single round. So by the end of the game, they've heard all of the words um, in a description, um, acted out, and then in a one-word description. Each round gets harder, so round two is where the kids have to act it out with no sounds, no words, um, kind of like charades, and they get as many as they can in that amount of time, and like I said before, it goes back and forth for each team until all of the words in the bucket are done. Um, if they use a sound or use a word or describe it, um, then that word is taken out and they don't get credit for that even if the team guesses it. Round three is my favorite and it's definitely the most challenging. The kids have to think of one word to describe um, the word that they picked out of the bin. So for example, if they pick out the word cat, they could say meow, but if the team doesn't guess it, they can't change the word. So they have to think really hard about the word that they're going to give and really give a good description. If the team doesn't get it, they might go through the remainder of their time and not get any more words. So they have to really think about, about the word that summarizes um, the word they drew out the best. And then they'll go through this until they get to the end of the bucket. But by this round, they've heard all of the other words um, two times already. So they should know the words that are in there and it'll help them be able to guess which word it is. Round three is the last round, and as you can tell, it gets pretty exciting as it gets to the end of the game, especially if the scores are close. The team that has the most points at the end wins, and the kids love it, and it really helps them master their vocabulary. I hope you enjoyed learning how to play salad bowl.